Hey everyone, welcome back to Sulfur and Chill. I'm Kev, and yeah, today we're going to be delving into a franchise that I've been really looking forward to. I've just kind of been putting it back and putting it back and putting it back. Um, and I've been on Twitter this morning, noticed that the fourth installment is due out very soon, so this is the perfect time to get involved. Yes, I'm going to be watching John Wick. I know these were huge. Um, I'm quite surprised myself that I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I've seen a little bit of a clip of the first one. Uh, I, I saw Keanu Reeves like jumping around, shooting people. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty entertaining, exciting. Uh, something like Keanu Reeves would probably excel in this role at. Um, he loves that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, excited. Really, really excited to be fair because the fourth one's due out soon. I know that it was kind of like a worldwide phenomenon, people loved it. Um, I know it's full of action. I don't know anything about the story itself. Uh, John Wick, I'm guessing that's John Wick, I'm guessing that is Keanu Reeves. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, yeah, I haven't really wanted to Google anything, uh, delve into anything. Any of you, uh, any people who know this channel and have been um like a fan of this channel for a while know that i don't like any spoilers towards anything so i don't google or try to find out anything about anything um because well for the simple fact that it is a reaction channel you want to see my initial reactions to it yeah um so that's why i don't do it at all um i'm super excited i do like a good action movie a lot of the things that i have been watching really lately have been kind of war um, movies and stuff I've been and, and um, kind of animated stuff uh, I haven't kind of touched on any big action me and Lewis obviously have been um, kind of stuck around Star Wars I've been watching Clone Wars Star Wars um, and the Marvels and then when I do kind of a movie on the side it uh, it hasn't been this kind of genre uh, so I'm really excited to get into it to see what you like as well if this is something that you are uh, really interested in if you want us to do more of these I most certainly will but because the fourth one is out um yeah I, I thought if I can get into the franchise now it's a perfect time yeah and we can watch the fourth one kind of together as it's as a brand new movie when it comes out why not now I know that like I mentioned before Keanu Reeves loves this type of movie um speed and all that um I don't know how he is in this one because he's a little bit older now uh he has done a few like love movies but I don't know how he's going to be. Obviously, he's fabulous because, uh, you know, the, the, they've kind of done the second one. So, yeah, and the third one, and now the fourth one. So, yeah, I'm super excited. If you enjoy the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. And yes, here we go. John Wick. Uh, I'm excited. I don't know what he is. I don't know whether he's an assassin. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Um, so it doesn't wait around kicking off. Oh no, he's done. See, if I'd watched the first one, like if I if when it came out, I'd be worried that he was gonna die. But I know that there's a second and third one out. What are you doing, John? Is it a revenge movie? Doesn't get killed, does she? There's always a basis for that, isn't there? Someone dies, someone gets revenge. He's been going for a long time now, hasn't he? Some boy to kind of keep that. Oh, she... I thought she might have been killed and then it's a revenge thing. She just died. Ah. Oh. It was just kind of walking down like, like a promenade thing and along, along the street and she just killed over. Oh, they're not switching the machine off. Oh my god, that's horrific. Does it tell you what it is, what it was? It's been awful. Oh my god, look at that fucking car. But it was going to be a, ta a tale of the old revenge of the husband after his wife dies type of thing. Dodgy. How are you holding up? 
I keep asking why her. Don't blame yourself. What are you really doing here, Marcus? Marcus. Just checking up on an old friend. Oh, there's definite backstory then. Massive backstory here. Oh, it started off really kind of dark. I love the way they've got the camera work and it's very dark and dull. And it's, it's only when you see her and him together that it seemed to like lighten up. Sign here, please. What? John. Oh. I'm sorry I can't be there for you. But you still need something, someone to love. I love you, John. This illness has loomed over us for a long time. And now that I have found my peace, find yours. Your best friend, Helen. That's brutal. So she's had a long illness and she knew she was going to die. She sent him a dog. Oh my god, I thought this was an action movie. It's Tia Jerker Central. Oh my god, look how cool that is. Of course. I think you needed it though. Definitely needed it. Cool. Dude, you're staying on the bed. The bed's not yours anymore, uh, John. <laughs> what? What? Oh, John, we'll get the dog something properly to eat. I'm kind of. I, I don't know what I expected from this movie, but this is definitely not what I expected. To start, anyway. I mean, I know there's always a calm before the storm, but I didn't. I kind of didn't see this. Wowza. Nice ride. How much? Excuse me? How much for the car? She's not for sale. Oh, I love dogs. Oopsie was suka yet, right, son. Dude. I want a suka and yet. If good day, sir. Oh, he speaks in Russian. <laughs> There's always someone who's going to cause trouble. Oh my God! Here, that car go. Also, he lets him in. He just goes for a crazy spin. Let him on. That's it. It's over now. You're on the bed. Oh, no, shit. It's those guys, isn't it? Alright. Touch the fucking dog. Go and touch the fucking dog. Go and touch the dog. Fucking haven't hurt. Oh, my God. He's fucking volleyed the dog. Oh, I hate this. That's an awful feeling. Booted the dog. Oh, as he dragged himself over to the dog. Oh, it's the other. The dog's dragged itself up. Oh, dog hasn't fucking died, has it? I wouldn't kill off the dog. Oh my god, he's gonna go fucking mental. Which director these days allows a dog to die? Like, I'm not joking, like, uh, kind of against the rules, isn't it? Kill off an entire village of people. Don't kill a dog. He's gonna go fucking mad. Oh no, he's gonna go mad. It's what he. He's. Oh no. I want a new VIN number and some clean papers. Where'd you get that car? Huh? What? Is 
in here. It was. So who is who is this? Who's John Wick? Joseph Tarasov, Nick. Vigo's son. Ooh. Yeah. Get out of here. Just get out of my shop. Get out right now. You just lose your shit, Aurelio. We own you. We own you. Wait, what did you say? What did you say to me? We own you. You don't own me, punk. I work with your father, all right? The owner of the car. You, did you kill him or what? So he knows John. No. He sure as hell fucked up his dog. <laughs> you fucked up his dog. That's what you did. You yeah. fucked up his dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, big right hand. To oh, the look at you. It's great. Come on. Now you, you kill me right now. Would you get the fuck out of my shop? Oh, he smacked his son. Oh, man. There's loads of story we haven't got here. Taking our business someplace else. He knows John. And he's what punched him in the face for nicking his car. Well, for, for hurting his dog. I need a ride. Super excited. I heard you struck my son. <laughs> yes, sir, I did. Oh, May I ask why? Because you stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. Oh, who the fuck is John Wick? Who is John? He's mentioned John's name there and they've just gone. Okay. Have you seen my son? Oh, he's worried about his son. Right, who's John Wick? Who's John Wick? Are we going to see some backstory? Oh, there he is, a little shit fucking dog killing bitch. That's a nice jacket. <laughs> oh, he's got that. Oh, he punched him. I thought he was going to slap him. I'm not talking about Atlantic City, you know? I mean, Aurelio's. So I stole the fucking car. What the fuck, Vic? Oh, that's... He's put his jacket on. He's finished. Oh, I think he's going to keep punching him. Did he throw up more? It's not what you did, son. It angers me, son. It's who you did it to. Fucking nobody? That fucking nobody. It's John Wick. Oh, I've just got chills right up me back. He once was an associate to ours. We called him Baba Yaga. The boogeyman? Well, John wasn't exactly the boogeyman. He was the one you sent to kill the fucking boogeyman. What? Is he assassin? Oh, he's a man of focus. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. <laughs> with a pencil. pencil? Oh my god, he's killed three men with a pencil. <laughs> oh, John Wick's extra hard. <laughs> he's gonna go mental. I gave him an impossible task. An impossible task. The bodies he buried that day. Lay the foundation of what we are now. Oh my god, I've like got proper chills going up me back. This is so any good. And then my son. A few days after his wife died. Oh shit, yeah. I killed his fucking dog. John will come for you. John will come for you when you can. What the fuck is that? He's got an arsenal. And he's got loads of gold. What is going on? Civilized man to move on. Enough. Oh, oh, what did he say? Enough. Task crew. What? Of oh, the boogeyman will come for you. Oh my God, John Wick! He's so hard. It's gonna be brilliant to watch. Oh, and he gets all suited and booted in black. I can't believe how excited I am. What the fuck? The 
God, he's an absolute animal. Oh my god, the camera works brilliant as well. The special effects are like the effect, the camera work, the choreography. Oh, it's brilliant. Very, very clever. Very good the way they've done it. Oh. oh. oh like a proper bang. Oh, that was so bad. Uh, that was so good, though, visually. It's the coppers. Evening, John. Evening, Jimmy. <laughs> you uh working again? Oh, you no, know, I'm just sorting some. I'll leave you be then. <laughs> what? What? I'll leave you Good night, be. John. Good night, Jimmy. So, uh, good night, Jimmy. So all the cop, like the coppers, knowing Norm as well. Oh my God, John Wicks. He's just like a legend. I'd like to make a dinner reservation for twelve. Dinner reservation for twelve. Good to see you, John. Oh, disposal. He's a cleanup crew. And here I'd feared you'd left all this behind. Like a hitman's clean crew. And them gold things. He said the dinner reservation for 12, and he counted. He was counting them out. So does each one of those gold things kind of represent a person? And that's how much it costs. That's why he had guns. But he had a load of them coins as well for the cleanup pretty kill cool. that's different very different goodbye charlie yeah. john put a contract on john wick how much two million it's like i thought it would be an action movie but i didn't realize he had like a, such a big backstory would you kill john wick for two million dollars is the contract exclusive no it's open consider it done oh he's turning on john you dickhead thank you marcus wasn't he at the funeral? So he knows John. You're going to turn on him like that. I love John. He's so cool. He's so cool. He's black. He drives his... Oh, no, no, he hasn't got his Mustang, but he drives his Mustang. Black suit. Kills everybody. Boogeyman. Oh, he's my new favourite hero. Some people like Superman. Some people like Spider-Man. I like John Wick. He's a cool. He's, I'm gonna swear, but he's a cool mother. Him like, hey, yeah, he's. Oh where? Oh we? Oh where? Room 980. Do enjoy your stay. Thanks. Good seeing you again, John. Oh, Perkins. He's hot. She sent him the dog as a last thing. No wonder he's fucking kicking off. I would kick off. Hello, Winston. To what do we owe the pleasure? Have you returned to the fold? Just visiting. Where do I find him? He's not bothered. He just wants him. We have a contact there who's willing to take him out for us. What? Yeah. If they're willing to break the rules of Continental, double the bounty. No business can be conducted on these premises lest incurring heavy penalties. Have a drink. No business to be conducted on the premises. What is this place then? This is weird. Is it a big hotel? It's personal. Oh, shit. Jonathan. Oh, hello. Hey, honey. Oh, my God. I'm retired. Not if you're drinking here, you're not. So are they all hit people? Please. But are they all assassins? And that's, it's like an assassin club. It's that fucking bitch who's on, who's going to try and kill him, isn't it? Oh my god, he's getting all kitted up. My type of bats. This has been so much fun. Oh, it's a back entrance. Don't know where Coming for you first, bitch. Hello, Francis. Mr. Vig, are you here on business, sir? 
afraid so, Francis. Oh, dude. Why don't you take the night off? <sighs> He's let him off. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, sir. Oh. Are you here on business? I'm afraid so. And he was like, oh, shit. Take the night off. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, I love it. I'm going to watch that back in a bit. I loved it. You're in so much trouble. Oh, he got booted in the banana rama. Oh, broke his neck. It's you done. All clear. You're dead. Oh, this music's so good as it's going, as he's walking through, killing people. Oh my god, this is so good. Go and shoot. If he shoots, he's good. everyone's gonna hear. Oh shit. Oh my god, he just looked straight at him and shot that lad in the head. Oh, oh wow, that was so good. Oh my god, these action sequences have been phenomenal. Everyone's just off the nut. Oh my god. Reload, John. Oh, shot right through the eyeball. Oh my god, he is the boogeyman. I swear to god, he just kills everyone who comes near him. Oh! oh. He just shot him point blank range. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, John. I'm so happy there's like, there's going to be four of these. 24 7. Send them up, please. Yes, sir. How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. <laughs> and they've got their own doctor 24 7. This, this whole, whatever it is, this place is awesome. However, if you still have business to attend to, take two of these beforehand. Your stitches will tear and you'll bleed, but you'll have full function. Oh. Do you need anything for the pain? No, I've got that covered. <laughs> I've got some bourbon. That'll sort us out, son. I'm pretty disappointed I haven't seen this. To be fair, I've enjoyed this so much. Like, I'm, I'm actually disappointed, but I'm so happy I haven't. Oh my god, he's gonna pop him. Hey, John. 
her. I said it was going to be her, the little bitch. So he helped. He helped him. Oh, you done, love? John's got you. Oh, he hasn't had his tablets before he's going to rip your stitches. There's something so hot about a female assassin. So beautiful. Smack your head off the wall there. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Do you tell Perkins, you bitch? We have received a number of grievances from your floor concerning the noise. Yeah. An uninvited guest. Four million to break house rules, because obviously the guy who was sitting with the olives in his drink. He said, you can't have business. Where's Yosef? Oh, fuck you. Do you really want to die here, Perkins? Little Russia. There's a church near Cannon Court. It's a front. It's where Vigo keeps his private stash. Ooh, his private stash? Thank you. Go and steal it all, John. Out with your pop. Say that, son. <laughs> um. Hey, John. Uh. <laughs> hey, Harry. <laughs> Everything all right? I love how the no everyone knows each other. Everything's fine. You keen on earning a coin? Catch and release. Catch and release. It's a very strange concept that that they kind of have like a hotel or whatever it is full of full of hip people. Their job's just to sit all day. Oh. My son, I might they help you. That was unexpected. Let's go to the vault. The echo of the gunshots there was brilliant. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Just take all his money. Oh, just, just wipe them out, John. Just, just take it all. Look at all the paintings and that. <gasps> Honestly. What do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. He's burnt it all. Sorry, John, I, I, I respect you in that, but... I'd have kept it. Don't worry. Housekeeping will find you. Oh, she's broke her thumb. You've done business on continental grounds, and management does not take kindly to that sort of behavior. Oh, he's, she's gonna kill you, Harry. Fuck management. Housekeeping will find you. You know what was oh, in that vault, right? Snap, it's not the, snap the thumb. Ooh. Go on, John. What? Jesus, it's non-stop this. <laughs> oh, wow. Boom. He likes that close range headshot. Like, I'll give him that. Careful. Oh my God, he's just being blasted. Oh. Have they caught? They've caught him. Oh, oh, John, you're in trouble, eh, like son. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna kick the fuck out of you, John. Do you want to shoot him? Like, put two in his head right now while he's like asleep. It's kind of the only way to stop him. The shore as fuck broke the mold with you. I can say you're still very much the John Wick of all. Do you know what was in that vault? Audio recordings, physical evidence, blackmail was fucking priceless! Priceless! Oh, so it wasn't just the money, it was like audio recordings and everything. Kind of enjoyed the. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I know you did. <laughs> yeah, while well, you had your wife, I had my son. And believe me, you had a far better deal. <laughs> we are cursed, you and I. Give me your son. 
Baba Yaga. It was just a fucking car, just a fucking dog. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. An opportunity to grieve on the law. And your son took that from me. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. So you can either hand over your yeah. son, or you can die screaming alongside him! Oh, John, you're in trouble, son. It's him again? Yes! He's done it again. Oh my god, he's so slippery. He gets away. Well, he was never going to die there, but... You're dead this time, son. Oh, it's just a need of the temple. Here we go. Oh, your sword. Your neck's going to snap. So William DeFore's helped him a couple of times now. Call it, call it, call it, call it, call it. John! Shit! <laughs> I have your word then if I tell you where he is. You let me walk away. Pull the contract. Done. What? It's kept in a safe house, Brooklyn. They know you're coming. Of course. No, you're coming, it won't matter. So he's let him go. He's let Vigo go. As long as you pull the contract. Oh my God, he's playing Call of Duty. He has told him where he is as well. God, he's so hard, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's just lighting up a doobie while his son's getting done in. <laughs> He's getting off his nut. Oh. You have now, son. Get down, get down. You're definitely dead this time. This has been absolutely tremendous, like. Oh, I stomached him. Is he going to speak to him? Didn't even like give him a chance to talk. He just popped them. Make the arrangements. A parting gift from the management. Oh, I want to stay there. Whoa. I wonder where we go from here. That's that's almost like a final scene, isn't it? That was what you would look at as a final scene. Retired. You really believe that? Oh, oh, it's that girl. Perkins. Evil looking, good looking bitch. It's time to go home. Then he'll, he'll avenge you next. Is that it? Oh, you've picked up a tail already, son. Oh, no. Hello, Marcus. Is that Vigo? This is John. I appreciate you granting my son a swift death. Marcus betrayed me. Oh, Marcus has had his absolute face punched off. You put the contract. 
every opportunity to kill John Wick. And if you have done your job, my son will be still alive! I always liked you, Marcus. Oh, that's gonna sting in the morning. Oh, go out on my own. Go out on my own. Perkins, you bitch. Ah, uh, poor Marcus. Fuel the chopper. No. Vigo was finished, it was over. Instead, he's gone and killed Marcus. And now John's coming back for more. It was over, it was done. What the fuck? Oh, she's in a bit of bother. It's Perkins. Your membership to the Continental has been by thine own hand revoked. What? What? She took fort in the face. <laughs> ah, that was so good. Which is why I'm not the one telling you that a certain helicopter to a certain helipad is being fueled for a certain someone. Lord, does he, he runs the Continental. Your membership has been revoked. I'm guessing that's because she broke the rules and, and committed the, uh, like, tried to kill John in the Continental, which is obviously against policy. Oh my God, this is just non-stop brilliance. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yes, <laughs> God damn, I knew he'd come. He just kind of knows. You would be shitting yourself if he was after you. Oh, John's gonna kill you. It doesn't matter, man. Oh my god, he is so tough. <laughs> oh, he's playing games with the man. English, please. Good luck. Man, just run. You might have more chance if you just run. have a one-on-one -on -one, like a final boss battle dude no more guns dog there you go you're done just you and me john <laughs> sorry there you go i think you're outmatched there son We were professionals. Oh, cheers. Yo, know, let's just no more guns and let's just have a fight and he's pulled a knife out. What a dick. What? He stabbed himself with the knife and then broke his arm. Oh, Oh, he did it so he could steal the knife. Wow, John Wick, you're on different levels. Oh, he's, oh, this is what we saw at the beginning. We're seeing you, Don. We're seeing you. Well, there might have been a, more of a, a bit of a, more of a gruesome ending, but I suppose it's more like a see you later. More of my mutual respect, goodbye. Go home, John.
He's going to take a dog home. Oh, hit yourself up there, John. Please be a puppy there. Oh, look. Oh, man. Aware. It's okay. Let's go. He's got another dog. Oh, my heart. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Okay, right. Okay. I'm just checking it. No, there's no end scene or anything. I don't care. Okay, okay, okay. I need to talk about that. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Totally not what I was expecting. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I expected it to be good. I expected it to be action-packed. expected it to be um, well worth a second, a third, and now obviously a fourth movie that's coming out. Uh, I didn't know what it was about, what the storyline was about. Very, very upsetting to see a puppy get die. I didn't know at the beginning when I saw that his wife had sent like the messages. The first thing that jumped to mind was it's because um, you, you obviously tried to pick out what the movie is going to be about. Uh, I thought it might have been like a revenge movie, but with regards to his wife, I thought his wife must might have been like killed or or something like like say like the robbery, um like his wife died instead, and that I mean I know that's a bit of like a cliche movie that um you know something goes wrong, a wife dies, and then there's a revenge. But I kind of thought that's what it may have been, um especially when you saw that she died, his wife, um like leaving the like you know the the voicemail and all this. I was thinking yeah, so she's passed, um and then when you saw that it was an illness i was thinking well what's going on here um you know what where where are we going what's that what's like that angle uh, and then the dog very very surprised that they, they killed off a dog um yeah yeah especially a little puppy little daisy you know i'm sure that caused a bit of a bit of, no one i don't know what it is though i think why they did it is because um everybody it doesn't matter who you are you can be, you can be the most, you can have no empathy at all. You can be, you know, you could have the coldest heart ever. But when somebody hurts like a, a defenseless pup like that, it causes outrage in you. And if, if, I mean, if it doesn't, then, you know, I would go and speak to somebody about that. Um, but yeah, uh, for me anyway, uh, I'm not speaking for everybody, but that caused like a, a absolute anger and outrage to me that they would hurt an, an, an like an animal um anywhere but little puppy like that i was like right i sorry um he needs to die if he goes son needs to get it um i was like need, i want them all to just die immediately so yeah that kind of set it off and then and then when uh they started talking about john and bobby yaga baby bobby yaga uh the boogeyman um and, and it started kind of talking about how he left um when he was talking to his son he said yeah they gave him an impossible task and he completed it. And the, the, he's just something about like the, the bodies, the bodies that he buried that day, kind of like built there, kind of like laid the foundation. I think he said to the to where they were today. So like an impossible task. So he was given. So he was basically the boogeyman. No matter what, no matter what he went for, no matter what he did, like especially when it came to killing people, he completes the mission. Um, and then when he went in and as we were talking, I thought it was excellent the way, when he, the way he was talking about him. Um, and then he and he was kind of hitting the floor and kind of obviously that's where he buried all of his stuff. So subconsciously, you might have known that there was a chance in the future that he was going to come back because he still had that underground. Um, I like the Continental. I like what they did there. I thought, I thought that was very clever. It's almost like a, a hotel for hit men um, and hit women. And you go there, you, you obviously get coins. Uh, and yeah, I thought that was uh, Ian McShane. Uh, but played obviously a brilliant part. Um, he was the owner of the Continental. I was happy that Perkins got it. Um, yeah, I thought that was really cool the way that the shop Perkins though. Uh, your membership has expired. Off you go. Uh, just overall, I thought the quality, the the the, the choreography when it came to the to the fighting, the I thought everything about that was extremely entertaining. Excellent. I absolutely loved it. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, kind of which one was your favorite no spoilers please uh because i will be going on to the second one very very soon i'm so happy that i've started watching this it was so good um i haven't watched an action movie like that for ages and uh, i can see now why it's it's so popular uh i don't know where they're going next yes just just quickly touch on when it comes to um 
like these type of movies and they get them and they go right we've got you now why don't they just pop them there and then john was asleep why did i shoot him in the head instead he was like right okay and then i'll leave and just leave you with two two people like what the fuck? like just just shoot him okay he, he, vigo knew what he was when who he was and what he was all about just shoot him there and then what the f like you know you know what i'm saying i just it just it boils my brain uh, but anyway i'm pleased it didn't because there's a second movie and the third and the fourth coming out and um, so they've kind of completed the first one i thought vigo was going to get away uh, and then it was kind of like a look for vigo type of thing for the second one but no obviously vigo has died and uh, just sitting there um so yeah the, the second one's a whole new story then yeah oh wow super excited yeah um if you enjoyed watching this uh i will put a link to another couple of movies that i've seen that you might be interested in and uh yeah i'll put a subscribe button up there so you can click that and put the notifications on for when i put the next john wick movie out and i will put this on patreon as i always do uh, just thank you so much if you've spent any time with me today watching this for the first time if you've enjoyed as much as i have because this was absolutely fabulous and yeah i'll see you all very very soon for episode two